Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking 3D rotating logo effect using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to create a logo. So I'm just using Illustrator, I've just created a new document. Then I'm just going to grab the line segment tool and I'm just going to draw a line down. Then I'm going to grab the direct selection tool and I'm going to hold option and I'm just going to drag this line out. You know, maybe something like that, 25 pixels. Then I'm going to press Command D another six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That will give you a total of eight lines. Once I have that, the next thing we need to do is we need to select it all. We need to go to Edit Copy and then Edit Paste in Place. And now we can rotate it just like that. So now that we have that, now what we need to do is we need to fill it up with some ellipses. So I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool. I'm going to set it at that point over there and then I'm just going to put it to that point over there and then I'm just going to repeat that process again for all of those paths there and even the one in the middle. So now that we have that, now it's as simple as just drawing up our shape. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to select everything. So press Command A and then we need to go to the Shape Builder tool. I'm just going to switch the colors just so that you can see what you're doing. And then I'll time lapse me actually creating the logo. Cool. So now once you've got the basic shape, then what we need to do is we just need to fix up all these other edges. And I'll just time lapse this to make this a bit faster. Cool. So now once you have that, all you need to do is you just need to select it, press Command C and then uh, copy it and put it into a new document. Once you have that, you can save that as an Illustrator file or we're just going to press Command C to copy it and then we're going to take it into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop and I've just downloaded a mock-up uh, of this, you know, shiny, glossy kind of logo uh, thing here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my logo in there. So it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just double click and put your design in here. I'm just going to delete uh, that uh, original design. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold option and I'm just going to increase the size of that logo. And when I'm done, I'm just going to press uh, that little tick up there. I'm just going to close that and make sure that you save that. And there you have it. Like now you have that cool metallic kind of glossy logo effect. Now, this is pretty cool, but we don't need everything here. So we want to get rid of the text. We'll get rid of that. We want to get rid of the background because we want it to be transparent. And you can see that the shadows are all on there. I mean, you can leave the shadows if you want, but I normally take the shadows off. And once you have that, then we can export that as a PNG. So if we go to export or quick export as PNG, we can take that into After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition. So I'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS, at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. And we're just going to call that comp, uh, we'll call it render. All right, so once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to import our logo. So if I just go file import and we just drag that logo to your composition just like that. And I'm just going to change the scale slightly so it looks something like that. Now, once we have that, then the next thing that we need to do is we need to pre-compose that layer. So if you go up to layer pre-compose, and we'll just call it logo and we'll make sure that we move all attributes. So once we've pre-comped this logo layer into here, then we need to apply an effect called shatter. Once we have shatter, there are a few things that we need to change. We need to change the view to rendered. So now the logo comes back. And then what we need to do is we need to go down to the shape settings and we're going to set the pattern to custom. We're going to set the custom shadow map to the logo. So now once you have that, then we can go and open up the force one settings and we're just going to change all these values to zero. All right. So nothing really happened uh, so far. But if we go down to the camera position, and now if we rotate that Y axis a bit, now you can see that it's kind of 
a little bit 3D there. And what's cool is if you increase this extrusion depth, let's go to, you know, 0.5, you can see what's actually happening here. So you can set it to how thick you want it, you want it to be. I think I set mine to about one, but honestly, you can set it to anything that you like. So the only problem is, is that it's not filled with a solid color. So you can see that it's kind of um, got these lines and things like that in there. So we need to fix that and that's pretty easy to fix. So all we need to do is we need to now go into the textures option and we just need to change a few settings in here. So now that we're here in textures, what we need to do is we need to come down to side mode and we just need to change the side mode to color. And if you've done that correctly, you'll see what's actually happening here. Now we are going to change the colors a little bit, but before we do any of that stuff, we're going to go down into the lighting and we're going to change the light type to first comp light. And then we're going to bump up the ambient light to one. All right. And then, so now we have a full on solid color over here. And now what we can do is we can go and change some of the colors. So for the colors, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this color palette because I'm going to pick these colors for the gradient uh, background that we're going to use. So I'm going to pick this dark color and I'm just going to set it into here. Now we have that pretty cool blue or it's, it's a very dark blue uh, that's in there. And I think that's looking pretty nice but we're gonna make it look even better. But before we finish up here, what we're gonna do is we are just going to rotate this. So it's a very simple um, Y rotation animation. I'm gonna click that stopwatch. All right, move to the end of the composition and I'm gonna set it to one and then uh, 359. So now that will create a seamless loop. So if it gets to there, you will see that it just keeps on going. So that's looking pretty nice. Now we have to work on the other parts of this tutorial. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a background. So to do that, all we need to do is we need to right click, go and create a new solid. I'm just gonna call it BG. I'm gonna put that underneath. I'm gonna search for the effect called gradient ramp. And then I'm gonna go back to color hunt and I'm gonna get my color schemes from here. So you can go for grayish color if you want, or you can go with that blue, totally up to you. I'm probably gonna go with the gray. Then I'm gonna put that color in there. I'm gonna change it to a radial ramp. I'm gonna hit that first point. I'm gonna put it into the center. I'm gonna move that second point down here and then I'm gonna swap the colors. So now we have that cool kind of vignette um, you know, kind of effect. And I think that looks pretty cool. If you find that, you know, your uh, colors blend into the background, you know, you can always go back and change them. So for example, if you go back into the logo settings, you know, if you want to make it, you know, a little bit darker or something like that, or maybe move it to black, if you want, you can, totally up to you. Um, but yeah, ju just find something that you're happy with. So once we have that, then the next thing that we need to do is we just need to tie it all up together. So I'm just gonna create a new adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, I'm just gonna add an effect called curves. I'm just gonna create a very small S bend just to make uh, everything look a little bit darker and make this uh, logo pop out a bit. And then I'm also gonna add another new adjustment layer and I'm gonna add some noise. So I'm gonna probably put the noise to about 10%. And now we have a really cool look on that. And that's pretty much the tutorial. So that's it to create the 3D uh, logo. The only other thing that you can add in here is you can add a bit of a uh, edge glow. And that is a paid plugin from uh, Red Giant. So if you have that, you can put that over or you can add some uh, deep glow if you have that as well. Or even just, you know, your standard glow from After Effects. But anyways, I'm gonna keep this tutorial short. So that's how you create a 3D rotating logo using the Shadow plugin. Um, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.